and I'll come back home. If now don't they see many sliders or videos on the internet, you could see say all of them they know too fine and they know to make sense. In fact, self, some of them they, they were what self finish. So for this video, I want to show now how now we build beta slider for React. And for this package, we're gonna use Swiper.js. Swiper.js na beta slider and they run with JavaScript, if you even use React, and if you use Vue.js and even self web components. And it is very, very simple. Web say just import them into your project and then you could just add your components from there inside that web component you could just add your sliders inside them now the sliders we're going to build today and if you now look at them go see say we get some of our favorite soccer stars inside this project so if you check them like this so you can see say we feel even add better slider web say we feel drag them and if they click the button so make we code now if you look for inside my vs code you go see say I just get a simple vid project where I already arranged for us for here. So now I suppose that I didn't know how to take set up a quick vid project. We could just run now with pmpm dev. This one will help us set up our dev server and the script just they come from our package.json uh, dev script where we put for here. So, so if you see um, it don't fire our dev server on top of this address for localhost 5173. If you open them, you could say now just a simple counter. Maybe say we feel the click arm, you could count, right? So make we go back inside VS Code, make we clean all these things, and make we start to add our slider from scratch. So I could just come here into the app.jsx. I will collapse everything with there for here, and then we could just replace all the code with there for here with simple empty uh, JSX. Make we clean this state for here, we don't need them. And then I will clean all these other ones for here, like this. So so now our project don't set everything on fresh for us. Make we go into the index.css. I go clean everything. And again, if you now they follow this project, I could drop link for the description. Now if you go the GitHub, copy the code, and if you copy the CSS because this video now about the slider. So I could just get some kind of default CSS where I would like to use. I go copy them from inside my GitHub, and then I go come paste them into this project. So I don't paste them for here. And this now the styles way we could use. I'm not gonna explain them, but just know say if you copy all the styles for inside your code. Now we could go inside the terminal, make we just install the swiper.js. To install them, you could just run pnpm add swiper. That now it don't install swiper for us very fast on top of our application. So now make we just go back into the code, make I minimize the terminal. For inside our app.jsx, make we import our swiper.js, right? So I could just import swiper slash react. And then we go bring in the swiper component where they work with react for here. So, so for inside this, our uh, line number six for here, we could just create a div. This div make we give them a class of container. Remember, I said we don't already add some CSS, so all these classes could they work with these class names where they add for here. So, make I bring in the swiper component, and then inside the swiper component, we could just try import our swiper slides. Now, for inside the swiper slides, we go add our slides. So, we could just call on slide one, slide two, and slide three. Press save, make we preview them, because you say we don't get our slides for here. So now, this is our slides. If we say make with a drag arm, you can see they don't they drag. So congratulations, we don't add slides. But it gets some kind of things we're going to need to do. So make we add those things. First thing, I say we're going to need to add some props. So make we just add a prop of uh, slide per view. We're going to set down to one for here. The next thing we're going to need to do is say make we import our swiper slides, the styles for them. So we go say we want our styles for our swiper and we go just say swiper slash CSS. Once we don't import them, it is to say now we get one slide per view. So that's how we feel they customize our slides. So when we go into the docs and if you check the docs, you go see say the API here, the docs, it give us some kind of other things, all the information we need. That's how I take know how to use them. So if you just come back this docs, I could drop link for now. When I get all the information about the class names, where if they use to the style your swiper components or your swiper 
our slides, right? And this is not just the CSS we're going to need, and they also get the effects we're going to need. For the effects, we're going to use for this video, now the cover flow effect, and this is now all the settings we will feed they add by default, all right? With the full lambda comp. Now we go back into our VS Code, make we import our swiper slash CSS slash effects dash cover flow. And we're going to import the swiper CSS for pagination. As we don't add them, I go like make we get all the players. So make we import a player, like an array of players. Make a show now. I already get this array of players, which now just a simple array where they hold several objects inside them. These objects, each one, they carry a player name, a player image, and the team of that player and the logo of that team. Likewise, the other one we did, the other side, every other player get their player name, their player team, the image, and a logo. So, make we export that player array, and I just they import them for inside here. Once we don't import that player array for here, we get them inside our, our component. We feel now they import the modules where we want. So, we want the effect cover flow, and then we want the pagination and the autoplay. For inside our swiper props, make we set the effect to cover flow and set the grab cursor to true and set the centered slide to true. Make we loop over RAM so we go set down to true and make we set the slice per view to auto. Then we go set the cover flow effect, which now just an object where we go pass in and this object will get a scale. So make we scale them to 0 0.8 and make we set the depth to 1.5 and we go set the slide shadow to false. Then we go set the pagination, which now also an object, but we go set them to clickable to true. And then we go set the autoplay, which now also an object again, but we go set the delay to 2500 milliseconds, direction to false. Then we go set the modules. For inside modules, we want the uh, effect cover flow and the pagination and the autoplay. Now, make we loop over all our players where we want loop over. So we go map over the array of the players. So it will give us the name, the image, the team, just like we show for the array, it will give us all that one, right? So we just put a callback inside them, which now waiting our map they take. And then we go use the structuring for here to come out the name. We'll come out the image. We'll come out the team. And we'll come out the logo for here. Then make we set the index so React go feed the track and for us. Now inside our swiper slides, where we get for here, we go add the props of the key and then we go set the in index for there so that React go feed the track uh, each of the slides for us. Now for inside this swiper slides, make we start to the style our card. So we go get a div with a class of image dash container. And then we go get inside this image container an image element. And then uh, this image element, we could just give the SRC, whatever that image be. Now we go pass them in. And then we go set the name of that player as the alt. Now for inside here, after that, we go add another div with a class of info container. And this info container, now here we go add all the player info. So we go put a div for here. And this div make we give them a class name of info-text-container and then we could just set a h3 for inside this info we could put the player name for inside the h3 and we could put the team name for inside a paragraph tag for here so now underneath all that one we could come say we won't put the image for the logo and we could just set that logo to this logo where we did the structure for here and then we could set the alt but we'll use backticks for here so that if we set a variable team inside there and that name, that now all we will need to do to create our React slider. Now make we add some CSS for inside here. So the CSS we will add for inside our app.css. Now the class of swiper, which now the follow come for all swiper.js components. And then we will just say one the width, make it be 750 pixels. And then we will set the padding for here to 60 pixels and zero for the left and right. Then we will set the class of swiper dash slide. And then we go set the background color to a variable. This variable now will to be set for inside our index.css. And it is to say I don't get some CSS custom properties, which now just CSS variables. So we just set some colors for here by default, the main color, and so on and so forth. So if I copy this code, now if you copy them from the Git repo, and you could get all these variables for here. So I could just move on like this. 
Now for line number 8, make we set the width for here. I'm going to set them to 260 pixels. Make we set the height to 400 pixels. Then we're going to set the border radius to a variable where we already set to rounded, which now just like 5%. And then we're going to set the display for here. Make we set the display to grid. And then make we justify the content to the center. The next thing we're going to do, make we set the box shadow to 0 for the uh, x axis and 0 for the y axis. And then we're going to set the spread of the shadow to 10 pixels. Then we're going to just put a variable where we're going to take the main color, right? And then we're going to do the same also. So 0, 0, 20 pixels for this spread, which now another one. And then we're going to set the theme color. The theme color now just any theme color where you want. And you go just copy that theme color all over the place. Like I show now, the theme color right now now color purple. Where we use this kind of purple hex code. So we're gonna just use that theme color. If you change them to anything you want, and then for here, for inside this class of swiper pagination bullets, this now the uh, bullets where we go to click, and we go just set them to the theme color for here, and then for inside here, uh, the image class of image container, we go set the width to. 260 pixels. I'm going to set the overflow to hidden. Then we're going to set the border radius to the variable of uh, rounded. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to set the image dash container. I'm going to just style only the images for here. We're going to inside this image container. We're going to set the height to 100% and the width to 100%. Then we're going to set the class of info dash container. Make we set the padding for here to 10 pixels on the top and bottom and 20 pixels for the left and right. We'll set the color to the theme color. We'll come set the display to flex and we'll set the justify content to space between. Then we'll set the align items to center. For inside the info text container, we could set them to flex. I'm going to set the flex direction to column and then we'll go write another class of info dash text dash container. But we'll start only the H3. We could give them the font size. And the font size one set down to 1.3 rem. Then we go set the same thing, the same info dash text dash container, but now only the paragraph will one style for here. So I'm gonna set the font size to one rem, and then we go set the info dash container image. So down at like the logo, I'm gonna just set this width for here to about 50 pixels for here. So I believe say this is now all we need. Make we preview arm correct. So you just say our image don't set for us. I just say we get our slide. I hope say this video don't show now how now we easily and quickly add a slider into our React application. If you now enjoy this kind of video, make you now like and make you now subscribe and make you now even share this video self. I know say you now feel learn something from this video from this side. So till next time, I will see you now for the next video.